Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Buildings Have Feelings 2. So you know the expression, if these walls could talk? Well in Buildings Have Feelings 2, the walls can sort of talk, because all of the characters in the game are buildings. So the buildings are alive, which is a wonderful, wonderful idea, and they've all got their own personalities and hopes and fears. Some are older buildings, you know, they've been around for a while. Some are young, new, fancy upstart buildings, and the idea is that we have to manage our city throughout the ages to keep the buildings happy and make them prosperous and wanted and all that kind of stuff. I suppose if we did have to categorise the game it would be sort of part city manager and part puzzle game I think but it does look wonderful. I think it looks very good indeed. It's just a very clever idea for a game and the buildings look adorable. They've got little arms and little legs and they walk around the place on their tiny little sort of building legs. I think it's a really lovely idea. I think it's a really good idea and I'm very much looking forward to diving in and having a go. The game is out as of this very moment on Steam. It's not long been released so of course if you're interested there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below so you can go and take a little look if you want to and we were given a key to this by the devs which is splendid so thank you devs that's very kind of you indeed but anyway enough jibber jabbering on let's just get on with it shall we and play some buildings have feelings too so the game begins circa 1900 okay what's going on we're panning down Okay, so look, this is what I mean. Look, the buildings have got tiny little arms and legs. It's brilliant. How did it come to this? Says this, yeah, very fancy looking building over here. Looks a bit older. In fact, a lot of these buildings look relatively old. Oh, oh, I see this building over here. Looks like it's about to be, is this building about to be demolished? There's all sorts of kind of, you know, sort of uh, tape around it. And there's what looks like a great big kind of crane behind it. Is something bad going to happen to this poor building here? How did it come to this? says that building there. I'd like to think I've lived a solid life. Oh, poor building. Some bricks and mortar are meant to last. Others like me are destined to crumble. Oh, this is all a bit sad. They must have been late on their disrepair payments. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear, says this, you know, sort of tall, fancy looking building at the back there. Perhaps I should have changed sooner. Oh, this is all sad. But this is what I was built to do. I won't end up like that. Okay, right, you're a little bit sort of, yeah, you've got a bit of a bit of an inflated opinion of yourself. I'll live forever. Well, we will wait and see. And then there's just a dot, dot, dot coming from that building there. Okay, and then we're going to pan up. I assume, yes, that building there. Yeah, there's various sort of, uh, there's various noises of destruction there. Oh, that's all, that's all a bit sad. I like this, by the way. I like the little loading screen thing. That's all very good, very colourful. Okay, here we go. So what have we got? Is this us? I assume this is us. Now, I've not played this before, so I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but here we go. So yes, it looks like we're in, I mean, I would say a kind of an English town in ye olden days, because I think the game starts off way back in the kind of Victorian era. So, you know, we're kind of some way back and there's lots of kind of chimneys at the back there, lots of industry going on. But okay, this building here wants to talk to us. I think this is us. Yeah, look, this is us. And it looks like that little thing above the window. It looks a little bit like a moustache. I mean, look, how brilliant is this? Okay, let's go and have a chat with you then. Hello. Oh, hey, you're at the old docks demolition, weren't you? Uh, okay, quaint residence. Oh, is that what that is? It's a good thing you're here. Me and Warehouse were just discussing this neighbourhood. Okay, so that's Warehouse, is it? We could really do with some help. It's been a bit slow recently. Okay. First, I think you need a bit of an overview. Okay, neighbourhood overview. You get an overview of the state of your buildings by holding that. Oh, shift. Right. Okay, I was going to say, what? what is this? I <laughs> don't know what that is. Okay, so shift hold. Gotcha. Okay, let's see what me and warehouse are up to. Okay, great. You see, I'm currently rented rooms. And my friend here is a grocer's me. I deal in fresh produce these days. Yes, you're the greenest of the grocers. Greenest grocer you'll find in these parts. The name does give that away. So warehouse. I've been thinking. Yeah? What have you been thinking? What have you been thinking, posh house? We could really do with some new bricks around here. Okay. So do you want me to help? Do you want me to help? Is that is that where you need me to come in? So the warehouse and I think we need a new building or two in these parts. Let's have a little go constructing someone new. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna make a house, are we? We're just going to make a building. I mean, I notice up here we have got ten yellow bricks. So can we build new houses? This is wonderful construction. Construct a new building by selecting an empty lot, and then you can find select the position in the construct menu with A and D. Okay. Well, where do we want to construct a new building? I mean, okay, let's put it over here. There's there's a space just. Oh no, we can't go over that way. Okay, maybe not there. Maybe not there. 
Yeah, there's space here, look, by the look of it. Yeah, there's not much. I mean, can we just put it here? Is that okay? Can we put it there? Is, is that all right? So if we press space just there. Okay, we can make a chimney stack. Okay, that's fine. Do we want do we want to make a chimney stack? I'm not entirely sure. It takes up six of our bricks, although we now do seem to have 16 of them. So I guess they gave us some bricks. Um, yeah, okay. Yes, go, go forth and make that. Oh, hang on. We couldn't do that. Why couldn't we do that? It didn't let us do that. Or maybe it's because it's too near. Maybe it's too near to those other buildings or something. What do I put it here? Ah, there we go. Yes, blue. So it needed a little bit of space away from those other ones. And then we can move it that way and that way. Ah, there we go. Um, okay, well, let's put it there. Yeah, so construct that. And there is... Ah, it's a chimney stack. Where the devil am I? Who are you? Oh, this is one of your very tall. Why are you down there? <laughs> Hi, uh, hi, tall friend. Um, yeah, you're quite tall. That's why we're down here. Um, I'm not sure this is what I had in mind. We should really help this poor chimney out. Yeah, do you belong around here? You can belong over there. It's massive, says the grocers. A building will always feel better if it has something to do. Like the biggest thing I've ever seen. Have you been over there? There's massive towers over there. Open the chimney up and give it a business. Open the building menu by selecting a building with that. Okay, right. So we go over to here. And we press space and it wants a linen mill. Okay, so it's vacant at the minute. Chimney stacks can only build that. Okay, how do we do this? Select a chimney and add a, ah, add a business. Okay, space. Right. Okay, so yes, we'll make a linen mill. So that's going to have factory outputs, but also mild pollution. How lovely. So yeah, we're going to make some stuff. We're going to make some linen, I assume. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit polluty. But okay, that's fine. That's all we can do right now. I don't suppose we can make any other any other things because we're kind of in tutorial mode yeah okay make that happen turn it into a linen mill so confirm that and then okay so it's going you know what and look it's changing that's really helped okay and no, that's fine that's okay i feel more myself as each moment goes by okay there you go look and then you've got yourself sort of things over here oh sorry i wasn't reading what you said what do you say i was kind of looking at everything else wait a second is that is that what is that a factory you've got there down at the bottom here, I think it is. It. I quite enjoyed being a factory, you know. <laughs> Not now, warehouse. <laughs> this is brilliant. I just want house and warehouse. No, this won't do. Why not? What? Why are you being mean to poor chimney stack factory? Well, that's not on, is it? Hang on. Um, yeah, let's let's have a chat with you. What's what's the problem here? This is unacceptable. Do you know how long it took me to get warehouse to stop factory work? I, I don't know. I don't know. Decades, possibly. Have a closer look and you'll see the effect factories have. Okay. So, right. So, we need to go and do our effect thing again. From here, you can see if your building and business has a positive or negative effect on the surrounding buildings. Okay. So, what's it doing? Um, hold. Oh, hold alt on chimney. Okay. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hold alt on chimney. Ah. Okay. This building here is not happy. They don't like it. Look, I'm not sure I can deal with this. It was a stressful ordeal getting warehouse out of the factory business. Oh, quaint residence and warehouse. You two are brilliant. Right, okay. That chimney there has got me thinking. Okay. How about I show you the ropes? Okay, warehouse. You, you've been a factory. You know that. You know the deal with this. What's going on? Okay, please do. Select warehouse. Okay, let's look at attributes first. Okay, so what have we got? Um, are you going to tell me about attributes or, or is that kind of it? Okay, we've got ourselves, we need to press E, do we? Okay, right. Currently, my grocer's creates fresh veg for surrounding buildings. Okay, so yes, of course, it's a grocer's. It sells vegetables, gotcha, and fruit and stuff. We can find out more details about the fresh veg. Okay, do we need more details about this? R is for more details about the veg. Okay, here we can see the fresh veg is worth one kind of, you know, one vegetable fruit kind of thing. Okay, that's fine. Straight up the ground. Four, four for a pan. Okay, lovely. Now what do you want us to do? Ah, okay, go back. Now let's have a look at appeal goals. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Can we just have these two buildings having a chat with each other? <laughs> that would be brilliant. Okay, appeal goals. Okay, so I go to E for appeal goals. That's where we started. We need to complete appeal goals to earn appeal and to upgrade. Okay. I hope I can remember all this. My goodness me, there is quite a lot happening. These give your business appeal based on the attributes of the surrounding buildings. 
Okay, so the buildings are going to become more appealing depending on what they're surrounded by. Complete appeal goals to get max appeal, allowing you to upgrade. Okay, right. We can see that we need two, whatever that is, two population to earn one more appeal point, I think that means. Okay, that's fine. Let's find out more from the building overview view. I love the building overview view. Okay, so now that's alt again, is it? Okay, hang on. So go to there. Hang on, wasn't alt the thing which told us whether they were happy or sad? From here you can see which buildings are contributing to your appeal goals. That's my good friend next door with one kind of population-y thing. Okay, yeah, so they're providing... Right, okay, hang on. Let's look at this. So next door is a house and they're providing people. And obviously the people go to this place to buy the lovely veg and the fruit and what have you. Okay, that makes sense. Houses provide people and these places here are providing services to the people. Okay, right. I'm with you with this. This is all This is all making some sort of sense. Um, okay, close the menu. Okay, right. How about building another rented rooms nearby? Okay, yes. Yeah, so and then we need more people to go to the shop and the shop can upgrade. Okay, that's fine. We'll give it a go. I mean, they think they need to go over here, really, don't they? They need to go over this side so they're close to you. Build the new buildings with rented rooms next to the warehouse. Okay, so we'll try and build there. We'll come over here. I forgot to add, not all buildings are suited for all types of work, you know. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Planning restrictions. All buildings contain a planning restriction card. Only businesses that match the same industry icon can be built in this building. Okay, right, so certain building types can only accommodate certain things. Okay, that's fine. So a residence building can either be a residence or what looks like a, a kind of shop of some sort, I imagine but it can't be, you know, a factory or an office or something. Okay, that's fine. Rented rooms is part of the kind of, you know, residential industry. So we need a building to match. Yeah, I mean, we've got that one. There's only one to choose from, but okay. Yeah, we'll put it right there. That seems to make sense. So in your pop. Hello, new friend. How are you? Right. Build a new building with rented rooms next to the warehouse. So now we can have a chat with you. Right, hang on. So if we press left shift, we can see what's going on. So it's vacant at the minute. Okay, so let's have a talk with you. Hello? Are you going to talk to us? No. No, you're not going to talk to us. Why are you not talking to us? Hello? Can we do anything here? Ah, no. Do we need to put rented rooms in here? Ah, yeah. Okay. Add a business and then rented rooms. Yeah. Okay. So what does that give us? Details. Let's have a little look. So it provides one kind of uh, population to nearby buildings. People that live close by, peer through the curtains and like a gossip. Splendid. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll rent these rooms out like that and confirm that. Yes, please. And there we go. And then, yeah, they have a little tiny sort of animation that they upgrade. And there we go. So now people live there, which is very exciting. And this at the bottom has gone to four. Okay. I don't quite know what's going on there, but okay. Right. And I'm getting the feeling we should probably do alt as well. So yeah, now, what's that doing? That's still not providing a... That's providing a person, but that's not yet. Maybe time needs to move on a little bit to actually get... I don't know, stuff happening in here. Maybe people need to move in or whatever. Um, the appeal goals are a pint <laughs> and locals. Okay, they want they want a pint. They want a place to go and have a beer. Okay, that's fine. Right, close that. Go back and talk to, to the grocers. Hello, warehouse. Fantastic. Now let's set up the fruit and veg content here in this neighborhood. Okay, so open the warehouse. And now we should be able to upgrade the grocers. And yes, look, they've got a little kind of upgrade sign on them. Okay, so going to here... And we've got the two the two population required. So any attribute with a matching icon. So if we press and hold that, yeah, there we go. So they're now surrounded by these two things here. They're being provided to the warehouse, which means we can upgrade the grocers. Oh, warehouse, we're going to look marvellous. Okay, so we upgrade it to just a better grocers. Is that what happens? We upgrade it from this to this. So friendly locals are going to be required, three population, and whatever that is, which might be a bit of work, might like be a factory type thing, and there's a obviously a great big kind of chimney factory thing there, so this might be all right. So, okay, upgrade, <gasps> little kind of party thing there happened. We've earned four bricks, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, we'll take that, thank you. You'll see that my appeal goals have updated. Okay, yes, I can see this. Sometimes you need a specific attribute like friendly locals. Yeah, okay. So we've got that up there. What's that? If you're not sure where to find an attribute for an appeal goal, you can always check the details. 
Okay, yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. Where do we get friendly locals produced by rented rooms? Ah, okay. The rented rooms are providing friendly locals, but they're not. Why not? Does that need to be upgraded? Do we need to upgrade the rented rooms to get friendly locals, possibly? Is that what we need to do? Okay, we'll come out of that for now. And then, yeah, let's go and have a talk with, here again, squatters. I'm learning this grosser lark pretty well. Um, this is, no, I'm focusing up on my upper brickwork at the moment. Okay, warehouse. Felt like a right turn it once or twice, but beginning to master it. Okay, what you want about? Hey, in case you didn't know, uh, if you're stuck, try asking a building for advice with W. Okay. So press W to ask a building for advice. This can be done in the name in the building menu or in the neighborhood view. There's a neighborhood view. Uh, okay, what if we ask you for help? I'd love some friendly locals around here. You're just saying, oh yeah. And you are saying, you're not saying anything because you, you want to talk to us. Okay, hang on. No, it's you we want to talk to. Let's have a chat with you. Warehouse. Well, look at you. I do like the banter between those two. It's very good. I wasn't going to say anything, but I have a few bricks set aside. Why don't you clear some space? Okay. Clear the rubble. Is there rubble? Is there is there rubble? Oh, here, this fence, you mean? Do, do we need to clear this? I suppose we're going to expand a little bit. Okay, well, let's expand on each side. So I guess we just sort of clear that and obliterate it. There we go. So we've cleared one bit of rubble. Let's make our way over here. <laughs> I mean, what are the people all thinking? What are the people thinking? Are they not slightly unnerved by the fact that there's buildings wandering about the place with adorable little kind of arms and legs? Right, clear that out. And then clear that bit out. And then we'll just clear a bit on the other side. So kind of expanded, you know, equally on either side. Yeah, there we go. The rubble has been cleared, game, and it's looking marvellous around here. Oh, hello, you want to have a chat? Hello, fancy house. Uh, wonderful. So much space for activities. Now, if Chimney is serious about this factory work, they're going to have to move away from Warehouse and me. Okay, yes, because you're a bit, uh, you're a bit polluty. And yeah, anything in that range there is becoming a little bit sad by this. And I think, I think, hang on, hang on, if we go and look there, yeah, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's a negative thing over here, isn't it? There's minus one appeal here right now for the grocers because yeah there's pollution hanging over here nobody wants to go and buy their you know buy their carrots and their cauliflowers in a great big cloud of smoke and fumes or whatever so yeah so we need to move you away okay that's fine we'll try and do that how do we move you how do we move you around a bit let's uh go to there pressy huh would you look at that what is it chimney i should really move this factory of mine out of the way shouldn't i possibly yes they have been very accommodating Okay, let's make this official. Okay, how do we move this in? On the move. Roads, <laughs> where we're going, we don't need roads. Uh, wait, no, scrap that. We, we do very much need roads. Okay. <laughs> right, we need to move chimney. We can pin that. Okay, do you want to pin it? Oh, yeah, there, okay. Um. Okay, and if we move chimney, we get 10 bricks, which you probably need to do some more stuff. Moving buildings. Move a building to a new lot by selecting it with S. Once a building is uh, following you, uh, place by pressing again. Oh, we just sort of ask it to follow us. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, right, hang on. Let's put you over here. Yeah, there. That looks like a good place. So we press S, and you're going to run over there. So you are all a little bit on your lonesome. You're a little bit on your own over there. But there we go. We've moved the chimney. That's good, is it? I mean, yeah, okay. Are you happy about that chimney? Are you happy? I don't want you to be sad. Made it! Yay! Well done, you! You're very tall. Roads? Okay, yeah, right, we've done that. We did We did the roads joke. Those little buildings were a bit weird, weren't they? It must be the, from being so close to street level. Don't, don't be mean to them. Don't be mean. They're wonderful. Warehouse is brilliant. Like, what's even down there? Do we really even know? I'm down here. I'm that height. Watch yourself, please. Now let's get these pipes smoking. Okay, so now what do we do? Do we have another chat with you, possibly? Get the pipe smoking. Okay. What do we want to do now? Ah, go back over to here. Thanks for doing that. It's really for warehouse. It's taken a lot to get here and, you know, I think we've really made progress though. Look how clear it is. Perfect for more buildings. Here, have the last of my bricks and let's get this neighborhood back on track. I've requested some more buildings and businesses for you to get started. Okay. So appeal. Building appeal can be seen in the circle above a building in overview mode. The higher, the better. The total appeal of your neighbourhood can be seen at the bottom of the screen at any time. Ah, that's what that thing is. The appeal of the neighbourhood. 
A fresh pavement smell, my goodness me. A new sentry, a new freshly graveled road. Okay, so we've now got to construct a new building, open a pub, and get the neighborhood kind of appeal up to 12. And if we do that, we get 60 lovely bricks. I like this, this is very good. Also, these people here are very exciting. Look at them. They're doing all sorts of dramatic jumping around. That's very good. Also, I do like the fact that it's you know, it, it's a game that you can play at your own pace. It's not like there's a timer or anything going on. It's not like we're in a desperate rush to get all this stuff done. We can just, you know, take our time with this and have a little sort of walk about. I do like that. Okay, how about over here then? Construct a new building. How's everyone How's everyone looking over here? Let's go to there. Um, yeah, the grocers is generating no appeal. That can't be very good, can it? Rented rooms is generating two appeal. What about you over here? You're not generating any appeal either. So yeah, why is why is the grocer not generating any any appeal all of a sudden? I thought you were good. I thought you were good, grocers. Oh no, you need some more people. You need some more people moving in. And that will get you one point. Yeah, okay, so you need three people within range. Okay, well let's get that sorted. Surely we can do that, and if we upgrade it even more... Okay, right, we're not quite there yet. We're not quite at uh, upgrading level. Let's get just another building in then. Just get ourselves... Let's go to there. Um, okay, bring it this way. I want a residence building, ideally. There we go. So, residence building. Ten blocks. Yeah, construct that. Hello, new person. Building kind of person friend. How are you? Um, okay, have a chat. You saying anything? No. Okay, never mind. Right, let's go into here then. So yes, we want to add a business and let's get you rented rooms. Let's just get you some people in, please. So yeah, pop that over there. Confirm that. And there we go. Right, so we've got some people. We've got some people coming in. And that, I think, that I think means that the grocers... Look, they're now... They're boosted somehow because this building has moved in and everyone's a bit happier. There's you know, more people around the place. So if we look there... Yes, the grocers has now got one appeal. We can go and have a look at that. Yeah, we've met that particular requirement. That's good. The only thing is now we need friendly locals. That's what we need. So I think that means we now need a pub. So where can we put the pub? Um, how about we put it over here and we just move it over there and over there. The only thing is, which one of these is the pub? I don't imagine it's going to be a small warehouse, is it? I mean, we've got enough bricks. We've got enough bricks to make a bit of an error here. So we can always move it around if we need to. Um, yeah, okay, let's put in... A, is it... I don't know where the pub's going to be. I think it can be either of these. I imagine a pub could be the little, the little symbol just there. Let's put a small warehouse in. We'll see what we can do with it. If we can turn it into a pub, then great. If not, we'll just make do. We'll, we'll work it out. Okay, add a business. Uh, ah, there we go. Pub. Pub, pub, pub. And in the pub, it produces a pint. I do quite like that. I do like that. Where's the peanuts? You need a pint and some peanuts. Pint and some uh, some pub snacks. Okay, yeah. Let's turn this into a pub. Please give it an amazing name. Please give it a tremendous name. It is the Victorian pub. Okay, not quite as dramatic as I thought it might be, but okay, that's fine. There is a pub. We've now got a little pub set up, all of our very own. Hello, pub friend. Cure what ails you. <laughs> very good. Um... Okay, now this can upgrade. This building here now can upgrade. So let's go and have a little look at that. So yeah, we can go and do something with this now. Let's go over to here. So a pint is nearby and there are locals nearby. So the rented rooms and there's no pollution, of course, bringing it down. So yeah, we can upgrade this. Let's upgrade this building here into rented rooms. So they'll still have a pint and there'll still be population around the place. There'll still be like locals and there's... Fruit and veg next door, and there won't be any pollution. Okay, this should be a good thing to do, shouldn't it? Confirm that. Upgrade you. Yay, okay, rented rooms is now two stars. We've got a couple of bricks, that's nice. And, okay, can, can we upgrade you again? Yeah, I have a sneaky suspicion we can. We can upgrade you again because all these things are met. You've got the beer, you've got the people, and you've got the veg. Okay, we'll upgrade you again then, because it makes no sense not to do so. So, okay, upgrade you again, and boom. And now it looks like the pub can be upgraded. This is wonderful. This is going very well. Oh, I've pressed a button. I don't know what that did. What was... Okay, I've pressed... I don't know what that is. Okay, we'll come out of that. Bye-bye. Um, oh, my goodness me. The grocers can be updated and upgraded, and 
the pub can be upgraded. We can do so many upgrades. Okay, okay. How about we get ourselves... What's this going to get us, though? If we go into here, we can upgrade this. So view the upgrade. So, yeah, we're going to not have that met next time, I don't think. We've not got four locals around the place, I don't think. And that's some sort of shop. That's a shopping thing. But we can do it, and it gets us four bricks. So we might as well just upgrade everything that we can. So there we go. We've now got a fancy three-star grocers, which is very good. And then upgrade the pub. There we go. Pint-sized purchases have no limits, apart from the kind of pint size. Right, okay. Confirm that. So now the pub, when we upgrade it, it'll need two lots of locals and three lots of locals. And locals. Okay, right, it just needs loads of people. The pub needs an awful lot of people around it to actually carry on working. Okay, that's fine. But now we've got ourselves 37 bricks. We've stocked up on the bricks, which is wonderful. Okay, how about we have some more people? How about we get ourselves, pop over to here, and have ourselves a residence building. Yes, please. Get ourselves some more people in. And you guys over here, can you not... Oh, no, hang on. We need to add a thing, don't we? Rented rooms. So, yes. Let's get some rented rooms in. Confirm that. And you should be able to upgrade pretty much immediately. Because, yeah, because you've got beer nearby and some people. Okay. Upgrade, please. Yes. Boom. And you've done it. Business upgraded. We got some bricks. Okay. However, why can they... Why can they not... Ah, hang on. Hang on. What's the range of the... What's the range of you? That's not the button I wanted to press. Hang on. Which button is it? Uh, that button. Ah, it only goes over to there. Okay, that's not ideal, is it? Really, we need the grocers and the pub in the middle. And then everything else, all the other buildings around it. Okay, can we move you around a bit? Does it cost Does it cost bricks to move you about the place? Can we move you over here temporarily? Right, hang on a second. You're not going to be staying here, don't worry. Pop over to there for a bit. And then we're going to move you. So move you. No, you. You. Move you around. So, yep, hello. Right, come over to uh, there, please. Can you go to there? That'd be good. So you pop over to there. Oh, I like the way the one moves over. <laughs> <laughs> Gives him a little bit more room. Uh, right, and then you come back this way. Look, he's got little arms. Um, okay, yeah, so you go into there. You go into that gap. Um, oh, hang on. No, don't, no, no, go, go go into there. There you go. Off you pop into that. Oh, no, now there's a big gap there. Right, no, not, not there. <laughs> go here, if you can. Can you go there? Can you fit there? Oh, everyone just sort of shuffles over. Oh, that's quite good. Right, and then we need to move those two back over so they're in range. Squatters. I hope there's not any squatters. Um, yeah, so you go there. Brilliant. And then you go a bit nearer. You come over this way and go... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we get you one over? Is that how it works? No, you're going to push people that way. Okay, you go there. Okay, there we go. So I think that's everybody kind of focused around the middle. Uh, we can upgrade the pub again. Okay, this is good. So what's going to happen with the pub upgrading? Whiskey barrels. Ah, okay. Right. Okay, right. We'll have to try and work on that. So let's upgrade the pub. We're not going to have whiskey barrels, I don't think. But we have got some lovely, some more lovely bricks coming in. Okay, right. Come out of that. So what do we need? Get the neighbourhood up to 12. Okay, I mean, what's going to, what's going to do that final, final bit? What's going to get us over the line? Um, can we build something new over there? We can take these down, can't we? We can remove those, I think. Right, how about, how about we come this way? Is that going to put us near to you? Uh, I mean, yeah, do we want to build another one of you? Hang on, let's go here and have a look. You do need some people nearby. You need some people nearby, because nobody can work here right now. That's why you've not got any appeal things over here. But yeah, but then the houses... The rented houses. Hang on. Renting is hard. They don't like the pollution. So some of these we might not be able to actually achieve. Do you know what? Let's give that a go. Let's go to here and build a new residential building just there. Hello, friend. And then add business rented rooms. Yes, please. So there we go. That's not gone up to 12 because the workers from there can go and work in the factory. They can go and work over there. And that makes that happy. Okay, 
This is coming quite, this is coming on quite well. Hello, exciting running stick man. Okay, let's get these pipes smoking. All right, who wants to talk to us? You, hello, how are you? Task complete. And we've got ourselves a massive pile of lovely bricks. The place is beginning to shape up. Let's chat up a few buildings needing help on the other side of the bridge. There's a bridge? Okay, maybe you can give them a scaffold or two. I've had a word with the city and unlock that side of the neighbourhood. Oh, quaint residents, who knew you held such power? Okay, well, let's go that way then. Cross the bridge. Which way is the bridge? Is it this way or is it the other way? It's this way. <gasps> Look at this. This is exciting. We Okay, we're, str we're struggling to cross the bridge. I can't cross the bridge. <laughs> I'm a bit stuck. Unless there's another bridge this way. Or are we supposed to buy the, the things at the very edge? Are we supposed to do that? Yeah, hang on a minute. I think we're supposed to buy those bits at the very edge of the map, aren't we? Hang on a second. Sorry, little tiny stick human people are trying to crush you to death. I think we have to buy this by the look of it. There we go. And that unlocks the bridge. Oh, we're crossing a bridge. This is very exciting. Hello, everyone. Right. Who needs help over here? Hello, dear. Oh, what are you over here? <gasps> look at these houses. Oh, they look a little bit worse for wear. They look a little bit like they need they need a bit of renovation work. But yeah, what type of what type of place is that? Is that like a sort of a, is that a cotton reel or something? Is this like a little sort of sewing place? Okay, well, let's find out. The mill. Look at you running around without a care. Warms this old mill's coals. Oh, my dearest wee millies. <laughs> okay, wees. Okay, these buildings are, are not well. I'll always do right by them, you know. Okay, so these are the millies. We've had a few hardships recently, but this is Linenopolis. We just need to stick at it. Infrastructure. Some buildings have infrastructure. These give additional attributes or appeal goals for a building. Okay, right. So what are these? These are loom buildings. So they are particular types of building. Okay, isn't that right, everybody? Oh, this is very good. Splutter, wee splutter. <laughs> Poor things, they are struggling. Humph. Oh, that one's a bit different. That one on the end is a little bit different. Okay, why are you standing out? Am I the only house with their roof nailed on straight here? It it does seem to be the case, yes. This mill's falling apart. We're done for. All this misplaced optimism about the future. It's a complete fabrication. Can you help me break out of here? Um, where do you want to go? Where would you like to go, my friend? You off, love, says the house. <laughs> here. I mean, where do you want to go? It's all reliably manufactured lies. Um... I, I, okay, do you want to go this way? That thing is sort of pointing over here. As though you... Ah, right. Okay, the goal is saying go over here somewhere. Um, do you know what? Hang on, hang on. Go that way. And do we need to get you exactly in position? Sort of about there, please. Yeah, go over there. There you go. Wow, I can finally breathe. Thanks. You don't know what it was like in there around so many buildings. Just blindly following Mill. Oh, right. So you don't like Mill. You've fallen out with Mill. Okay. Won't be long until things unravel for the old linen mill. Time we houses struck out on our own. I had one of those fancy new buildings talking about the genteel profession of accountancy and reckon that's right up my street. Okay, you want to be an accountancy office. Okay, I'm no weaver. I am no spinner. He wants to break free. Turn workhouse into a two-star accountants. Okay, right. Um, I've seen numbers, you know. Met a house recently. He was number 138. <laughs> okay. It's basically just adding zeros here and there after that. Yeah, I, absolutely. That's how numbers work. You're exactly right there, house. Okay. So what's going on here? So you're vacant. So if we go into here and add a business, we've now got the accountant business unlocked. Office supplies. It generates little tiny paperclip things. Okay. Yes, we'll set you up as an accountant. Let's get that done. Job number one done. You're now an accountant. What does it say on there? Something, something, bookman. Okay, so now we need to upgrade you. So what do you need? You need office supplies. Okay, so we're going to have to provide some sort of office supplies around the place and some people. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can certainly try that. I mean, we can get some people in fairly quickly. That's not a problem. So go here, go to a residence building, construct one of those pop into here and oops oh no hang on a minute I've, I've pressed the wrong button there we go that's better uh right rented rooms yeah just get some people in get some people renting over here and there we go right so come out of there so now this building should now have yeah that's been met now how do we get office supplies 
Not entirely sure about that one. Okay. Um, a tall office? Would that, would that give you office supplies? Let's build it anyway. There we go. We'll just pop that just there. I'm not sure if that'll work or not. But there we go. We have an office now. Hello, office. How are you? Um, that can be an accountant's. I'll bother. I suspect maybe we've just put the wrong kind of building in. Hang on a minute. Grocer's pub. Accountant's linen mill. Um, right. How do we get... How do we get the things in? Hang on, hang on. Now I'm confused. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. What do you need? Office supplies. Don't you generate office supplies? Well, that's what you generated. Or this, does this generate office supplies? I think that did generate office supplies if we turned it into an accountant's. Isn't that what that is? It's an accountant's. Hang on. And we'll just do it anyway. There we go. You become an accountant's. There you go. Oh, so they just share. They share things between each other. So that's providing office supplies to them. And they're providing office supplies to them. Okay. <laughs> They've expanded. You can count on me. I see what you've done there. Okay. And then we will... Do you know We'll upgrade this one first. Because that's not part of the actual quest thing. So yeah, we'll upgrade you. So then what do you need when you're upgraded? Hot lunches. <laughs> and the office supplies. And then two, two population. Okay. Right. So we'll upgrade you. Yay. Very nice. Two star accountants. But the goal is to upgrade workhouse. So let's go and do that. View the upgrade. And boom. Okay. We've done it. We've turned Workhouse into a two-star accountant. Okay. <laughs> right. So now that's done. Let's go and have a chat with you. Hello. Fantastic. It is, isn't it? It's very good. And we've got 35 bricks for it. Thank you very much. I've run the numbers and everything's coming up. Workhouse. We need a crack team now. More offices to keep this economy afloat. And a load of cafes to feed the lot. Yes, I saw you need hot lunches. Okay. So open a three-star pub with Max Hart to unlock cafes, open two cafes, open three businesses. Oh, crikeys. Okay. I want to I want to live a little. Okay, the industrial beat of the machine. So three-star pub, two two-star cafes, and three businesses. And that's all got to be around here, has it? Okay. Um, well, let's go over to there. And we'll have a residence building. We've only got one of those available, but we need some more people, I think. So let's pop one of those in. So yeah, there you go. Hello, residence building. Rented rooms. And confirm that. Okay, so population. We've got people going on now, which is handy. But yeah, now we're going to need a pub. Um, Hang on. Let's get you. You, my good sir. Come over here, if you would be so kind. Pop over to sort of there for a bit. There you go. Go over there. Um, Oh, hang on. What's that? What's that telling us? What's... Why, hang on. Why is this... What's this over here? Do we need to go and sort out our old pub? Oh, no. Mill wants to talk to us. Hello, Mill. I just don't understand. This city was built on linen. Times change, Mill. I'm very sorry, but, you know, progress happens. Things move on. Everything's falling to pieces. Oh, this is very heartbreaking. Perhaps it is time I made a change. Possibly. Mill and the Mill is danger looms too. <laughs> okay. Turn the Mill into a whiskey distillery. Okay. How do we how do we go about doing that? I've seen factory that Docklands make the most of it. Um, okay, so we remove the business from here, do we? And then, hang on, hang on, how do we uh, come out of that? Come out of that, bail out of that, tab. Uh, yeah, this one here, right, pin that for a second. Come out of there. Let's see how we do this. So we go into here, there is a remove business thing. So I assume we remove the linen mill aspect of things. So yeah, if we do that and then press space, it's going to cost us 18 bricks to do this. But I think we have to. So then we can repurpose that building as a whiskey distillery. Okay, right. Get rid of that. So now you're just doing nothing at all. So now you're nothing. You're just you're just a, a building waiting to be purposed. Right, add a business. Whiskey distillery. Okay, fine. So confirm that. And now you've been turned into a whiskey distillery. But you're only a tier one whiskey distillery. Because you need... What do you need? A little cog thingamajig. Oh, what generates that? And a grocer's. Okay, you need you need some. I suppose you need stuff to turn into whiskey. I guess. Okay. Yeah. How do we, how are we going to get that? What was the little cog thing? What was the cog thing in my jig? I can't remember that. What's that? Um, but just by linen mill and whiskey distillery. Hang on. What the linen mill produces that? But we were just a linen mill. 
uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out what's going on with that. I'm sure if we just muddle through and press enough buttons, it'll all make sense. Maybe Mill's not got our best interest, you know. You could be right. I mean, yeah, what if we ask you for a hint? Maybe a pub nearby could help. I mean, yeah, what would that help you do? So they want, they want that as well, don't they? They want a, they want a pub and they want a grocer's nearby. I mean, yeah, do we just move you over there and then put a pub in here somewhere? That would, that would make sense. That would sort that out possibly. Do you know what? You, come over here a sec. Come, oh, hang on. Can we not move you? Oh, we're not allowed to move you. You can't move. Uh, no, look, not allowed to move. Oh, okay, fine. Um, well, let's put then over here. Let's go for a small, oh, hang on, over here. Small warehouse. We've got three of those available, but then repurpose that as a grocer's. Yes, please. Okay, so a grocer's appears. Yay for vegetables. Okay, and now the grocer's can be upgraded because it's near enough to people. So we can upgrade that. Okay, boom. So a level two grocers, we got some bricks for that, very nice. So now what's happened over here? How is that looking? Okay, then we just need the little sort of cog things. Yeah, how do we how do we get them again? How do we get the cogs? I'm not entirely sure how we get the how we get the cogs. Um right. What generates cogs? Can we can we find that out somewhere if I just press enough buttons and hope for the best? Okay, so I've popped back over here to chimney stack because I seem to recall that chimney stack had the little cog icons. And yes, it says there, produced by linen mill and whiskey distillery. So the whiskey distillery is going to produce the little cog things. So we need to put a whiskey distillery next to the other whiskey distillery, a little bit like what we did with the accountants. They kind of help each other out, I think. So, okay, let's make our way back over here. I like this, <laughs> though they run. Come on, little building, let's go over here. Right, so then we're going to need somewhere around here, another whiskey distillery, I think. I mean, yeah, let's try and put it over here. We might have to move it over a bit. There we go. I mean, it's gonna be a small warehouse, I think. I think it's gonna be a small warehouse. So let's pop one of those in. And then, yeah, can we turn you into a whiskey distillery? Are we allowed to do that? Um, or a linen mill, but we just got rid of the linen mill from the other place. Let's let's turn this into a linen mill. So we've got one whiskey distillery and one linen mill. That's making factory output, I think. So let's turn it into a linen mill. Yes, please. So we got rid of one, but we just put another one back in. But okie doke. Right, that's done that. And yeah, look, now these things can upgrade. Okay, so the linen mill can upgrade because there are people and a bit of industry cog stuff going on. So we'll upgrade that. That needs three people nearby. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we can do that right now, but I think at some point we can. Um, no, we can do it right now. It's ready to be upgraded. Okay, yep, do that again. There we go, very nice. 12 bricks for that. And then we can upgrade this. Mill, it's time to turn you into a two-star whiskey distillery. It's what you've always dreamed of. Okay, there we go. All done. We have completed the uh, completed the quest there. We've got six bricks just for doing that. And then, yeah, we've actually completed the mission itself. So, yep, hello. We've earned 10 bricks. Very nice indeed. I'm not sure I was... Not sure what? Hick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Mill's drunk. Made for liquids. Oh, no, we've got Mill drunk. Okay, right, so that's done that. So now let's pin that one back onto there. Okay, right. I think that's more over in this direction, isn't it? It's more over here. So what have we got to do? Pub with Max Heart. So not cafes, open two cafes, open three businesses. Okay, so we need a pub. So let's just get a pub down in the middle here. It's gonna have to be the small warehouse, I think. It's gonna have to be, because it can't be any other building. Okay, Joe, you know what small warehouse it is? There we go. And repurpose you as a lovely pub. There we go. Everyone can have a nice pint. It's all splendid. And pub can immediately be upgraded. Yeah, all right. We'll immediately upgrade pub. There we go. Pub is now a level two pub. And I think we can upgrade pub again. We can upgrade pub a, a, another time. Okay, yep. We can upgrade pub once more. Splendid. Okay, and then we can upgrade these houses as well. So let's upgrade you. So yeah, might as well. Splendid. Look at the appeal of our place. 25 and we're getting extra bricks as well, which is all very helpful. Yep, upgrade you. Appeal down to 24, of course, because we did lose a bit with the upgrade, but okay, there we go. So we've upgraded some more buildings. So yeah, is this a three-star pub? 
Is it a three-star pub now? Uh, ah, right, it needs whiskey barrels. Okay. It needs whiskey barrels. Hang on, hang on. Over here. That would make whiskey barrels, would it not? Do you make whiskey barrels? Over here, what do you do? Do you make whiskey barrels? View upgrade. Um, I assume you would make whiskey barrels. Given you're a whiskey distillery, I would kind of hope that would be your thing. Um, yeah, okay, what else do we need to do? Two cafes and three businesses. I'm not quite sure how we go about doing that. Hang on a minute. Let's put something here. Go to a tall office. Okay, so pop that into there. What can we repurpose you as now? You can be an accountant, a grocer, or a pub. Where's the cafe? Where is that? That's... Oh, no, we haven't unlocked it yet, have we? We've not unlocked the cafe because we need to get the... Uh, yeah, we need to get the three-star pub sorted to unlock cafes. Ah, bother. Okay. I mean, we need to open three businesses. So, okay, right. We'll repurpose this as an accountant. It's fine. We'll, we'll get that in there. And we've opened three businesses. Okay, we've completed one of the goals of that thing which is good. And you know what? We can upgrade this as well. So we might as well upgrade it. Yay, there we go. Right, it's all upgraded. It's all wonderful. Uh, right, come out of there. So yeah, one of the pubs is going to need... Yeah, is going to need to have... Uh, what was it again? Uh, yeah, the maximum heart, which means it needs to have whiskey barrels. But yeah, I'm assuming whiskey barrels comes from here. Hang on. Let's go and check. Let's go and check. Give me, give me a refresher on this. Oh, no, your, your rented rooms. No, that one there. Um, right, what do you... What are you producing? Can we find out what you're producing? Oh, this is a bit confusing. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What are you making for us? Okay, hang on. We're going to have to try and piece this together. So, the whiskey distillery, to get up to the next level, to upgrade this, we need to get a stiff drink in here. Okay, that's fine. And that needs a three-star pub. So to get that done, that needs a three-star pub. However, if we go and look at the pub, which is over here somewhere. Where are you, pub? You're over there. Right, hello. How are you? Right, so details of this. Whiskey barrels. Whiskey barrels are made by the whiskey distillery. Okay, so we need a whiskey distillery somewhere near the pub, which it isn't. Oh, bother. Okay, this could be potentially a bit of an issue. Right, pub, come and follow me. Follow me. Let us go over here somewhere. And yeah, where can you where can you go? Can you fit into any of these spaces whatsoever? I don't think you can. I mean, what if we just do that? There's like a sort of swap icon above your head. Can we just swap you? Can we just sort of try and swap you out? No. Um. Okay. We need we need a pub that's near to a whiskey distillery so they can get the barrels. What if you just go over here? Is there enough room? There's not quite enough room just there, is there? You can't go over there. That's unfortunate. Okay, right, hang on. You're going to have to go back to where you were. We might need to just do some rejigging of buildings and things. But yeah, we can't move those ones, can we? We can't move those guys because they didn't want to be moved. Okay, go to there. Everyone will shuffle over for you, pub. Of course they will. Yeah, we need to move everybody around over here a little bit. If we can. But yeah, they don't go anywhere, which is all very frustrating. Okay, what we'll do is, let's try and move you. Can we move you to... Uh, hang on a minute, hang on. Move you to there. And there's a gap of three. Are you sure you don't want to move? Oh, no, you're going to move now. Oh, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, you go over there. That's all good. So you go to there. Oh, hang on. Go back that way. There you go. Right, and then... We can move you. There's three there. Okay, hang on. Can we get pub in now? And then pub can just make everyone just sort of, you know, shift you over a little bit. Is that going to work? Right, pub. Come with me. Come on, pub with the crazy arms. Let's go over here. And then, yeah, can we put you there? No. We still can't put you there. Right, okay, pub. It, it was fun coming over to this part of town, wasn't it? Yeah, lovely stuff. Right, back over here for just a second. Wait there. Just going to go and uh, just rejig a few things. Just hang hang tight, pub. Okay, that should be plenty of room. That should be enough space to now go and get pub and fit pub into that gap. So, hello, pub. How are you? Okay, so yeah, this is very much the puzzle aspect of the game, isn't it? Trying to make sure that you've got everything kind of leveled up and all that kind of stuff. Right, pop you into there. And there we go. There's now an E. You want to talk to us? Okay. Hello. Pie shop. Cafe. Ah, okay. Because now you are a happy pub. You're a three-star pub and 
in the three star pub kind of goals all these things here have been met so all the heart things have been achieved yeah there you go we've got max hearts going on okay right okay this, this is all making sense now so now we just need to open two cafes okay that seems sensible enough oh hang on let's upgrade you actually whilst we're here let's upgrade you rented rooms there we go ta-da very nice yep three more bricks thank you very much and we can upgrade this as well what what's that above there what is that what's that why is that falling apart i don't know what that's falling what, what's this what's this counting down okay i don't know what that is game we'll wait and see what happens right we'll upgrade the whiskey distillery because we might as well um okay very nice why is what's going on with this building why is this building um there too near oh their their appeal is too low because they're near pollutiony stuff oh that's not good is it right hang on a minute hang on can we try and resolve that can we get you to say swap with you can you swap around a little bit uh, yeah and you go into that gap there there you go you move over oh but you're still going to downgrade are you okay i think that building just downgraded itself i think that building just downgraded itself yeah okay right that's that's not great that's not great at all and now that one might also be doing the same yeah that building i think because it's it's closed it's out of business oh no okay that went a bit wrong do you know what we'll just go and open some, ca some cafes we'll sort that out in a bit <laughs> we'll sort that kind of thing out in a second right okay cafes where can they go um so let's pop a building here however can we put cafes in offices because we might have to because we've got not got enough buildings left let's see shall we it's got the little kind of shop retail-y thing on so let's just see what we can do here so hello how are you can we make you a cafe yes we can and you're providing lovely hot lunches there we go right so pop you into there so you're now a lovely cafe okay can we just can we move you over the tiniest tiniest bit just just one bit just just oh, hang on yeah everyone just sort of shuffle over splendid okay ah but the only thing is yeah you you are making did i see you're making smells i think you're you're making sort of food smells which yeah not everybody likes okay right well we'll upgrade you because we might as well so we've got civil servants i imagine they're the accountants in the offices are they um and then people around the place okay that's fine so we'll upgrade you yeah so splendid and then let's go to here and set up another building another tall office in it goes and we'll set you up as a cafe yep and again hot lunches lovely stuff right there have got to be two two star cafes ah okay right we've not got enough we've not got enough accountants around the place okay how about then how about we just move you around a bit what if we put you right hang on you come with us you swap with that one there you go so you're all covering different things and you go into you go into there and i think that covers everybody and nobody's nobody's sort of downgrading or whatever right so let's upgrade that accountants because we might as well so yeah we'll upgrade you yep yeah, lovely thank you very much and then we'll upgrade you you're the other accountant so upgrade you to a level three accountants very fancy okay more bricks come out over there and then upgrade this little the little accountants which was the workhouse yeah you've got history you've got history but there we go we'll upgrade you you're doing very well for yourself now good sort of a uh, good you know, change of career and then this here this will complete that goal so view the upgrade confirm that and boom there we go we now have two two star cafes okay what do you want us to do next game uh ah, okay there's a storm brewing is there it's quite nice over there um right okay what do you want superb <laughs> yes it is looking very good there we go we got 10 bricks and we've completed that particular task i do wonder how mill is doing okay we can always oh hang on you want to talk to us again do you what do you mean mills turned to the barrel <laughs> <laughs> this won't do i've ever heard what those fancy buddies talk about some sort of contract law oh that sounds unpleasant doesn't it um open accountant with a max heart thing and turn a work oh turn workhouse into a lawyer okay right removing a business will cause repairs these can cause unwanted effects or attributes on your building spend the repair cost to remove them from your building yeah we kind of saw something a bit like that before didn't we 
Getting three repair cards will cause your building to be demolished. Once the timer has completed, the building can no longer be used. Remove a repair card to stop the timer. Oh, is that what happened with our previous ones? Oh no, the buildings weren't demolished. They were just not used. Okay, that's fine. After what happened to old docks. Oh, don't worry. We've got to look out for one another. No, we won't let you get demolished. It's fine. Time to get my paralegal on. Okay. <laughs> right. So if we remove you. So, okay. So yes, remove you from there. And then can we, can we repair that? And then remove the disrepair card for 10 bricks. So there we go. Right. So you're fine. So you're not falling apart anymore. That's all good. Add a business and... What business are you going to be? Um, oh, hang on. I thought you wanted to be a paralegal. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Do we need to turn workhouse into a two-star lawyers? Oh, no. Have I just done something really terribly stupid? Hang on. Hang on. Open a three-star accountancy. Okay. Let's try and work that out, shall we? Right. Hang on. Where are we going to get the accountant sorted? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening to you? Why are you falling apart? Accountants, accountants, what's going on here? Why why is it all going horribly wrong? What's happening here? Why are you falling apart, accountancy? Oh, is it because the appeal is so low that it's coming down? Maybe. Right, I think what we need to do is we need to swap you, I think, with with you. I think can you can we just swap you over, please? I just or just nudge into there. There we go. Go into the middle. Oh, but now that building is gonna fall apart. No, accountancy. My number's up, <laughs> says the accountancy. Um, okay, can you go can you go there? Okay, right. Try and shuffle all these things around. Right, no, that's, that's still not working. That's still not working. Um, okay, right, hang on a minute. Why? What is the problem? Okay, have we got enough money? Yes, we have. We could. We could build another residency place. And the thing is, have we got enough room? I'm not entirely convinced we have. Right, hang on, hang on. We can do this. We can rescue this. No, we can't because we haven't got any ability to build residences anymore. Okay. <laughs> no, accountancy building. Right, hang on. Follow me. Follow me. What if you go there? What if you go in the middle? Is everything saved? And you pop into, uh, well, there. Sort of go into that gap there. Is everything fine over here? Right, that building is okay. They're all good. They're all good. I think we just saved it. We've just got to make sure that everything is, you know, reaching all the right things and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Right, that was almost a disaster. Right, open an accountant with max heart thingamajigs. Right, how are we going to achieve that? So we need some more people and then more offices. Okay, we need one more office and one more person, one more sort of residential building. How how are we going how are we going to make make that happen? How's that going to happen? Because we're going to struggle to get we've not got enough sort of building materials left to get all that done, have we? I don't necessarily think we have. Uh, right, hang on. You're in a weird place. So let's pick you up. Um, yeah, pick you up and put you... Um, hang on. Can we can we drop you there? Yeah, put you there. That's fine. Okay, so they sort of liked that. But now you're still not max accountant. So no, but you then just need one more office thingamajig nearby. I think maybe we need to turn you back. Uh, hang on. Where do you reach? Is it that button there? Yeah, over to here. Okay. What if we moved you? We need another house. We need another house, but we can't build another house. I'm not entirely sure how we do this final bit of the puzzle here. I think we might have to go and turn workhouse back into back into an accountant. I think that might be what we're supposed to do. Maybe we were not supposed to undo that. Um, okay, do you know what? Workhouse, it's fine. Come back here. Go back and become an accountant. Then you can provide office supplies to people. There we go. Right. So view the upgrade. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade you as well because why not? We get bricks for it and stuff. So, yep. Yeah, okay. Five bricks. Thank you. Right. Hang on. Come out of that for a second. Right. So that building there has now got an E floating above it, which must be a good thing. Okay. Lawyers. Typists. Okay. So now we've got lawyers. Okay. So turn workhouse into a lawyers. So I assume now we have to undo workhouse. Do we undo workhouse now? Do we get rid of that or do we change the business somehow? I'm not entirely sure. Turn workhouse into a lawyer's. Yeah, I think we have to do what we did before. I think we're just possibly a little bit a little bit too keen on doing it before. Um okay. 
Let's just give it a go. It, I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. So there's a few, there's a few little broken bits. We'll, we'll repair that. Absolutely. We'll get that sorted. We'll remove the broken sort of card thing. Right. Add a business and a lawyer's. Yeah, there we go. Legal documents. Right. Confirm that. And there we go. We've turned workhouse into a lawyer's, but they're not a two-star lawyer's just yet. They're only a one-star lawyer's. Okay. So how are we going to work that? Do we need to then make you move? You need another bit of you need another paperclip thing. Hang on. Details. What generates that? Lawyers, accountants, and typists. Okay, you just sort of need to be in the middle, I think. I think you just need to be in the middle a bit more. So if we get you and put you, uh, I don't know, there. Swap you over into that space. Oh, no, you can't go into that space. Swap with them. There you go. Is that going to be all right for everybody? Or is everything going to implode? <laughs> please, please don't implode. Um, right. Everything looks okay. Everything looks fine. Yeah, okay. And I think we can upgrade you. So, yeah, we'll upgrade you. And boom. You're a level two lawyers. You're living the dream. Living the dream workhouse. We get eight bricks. Thank you very much. And there we go. Okay, let's have a chat with you. That's the ticket. Yep. Okay. Oh, there you go. Who are you? You've got 25 bricks there. Thank you very much. That's the ticket. Now I've had a word with zoning and they've agreed to let Mill have a career change. She's already had a career change. Uh, the city centre can't be sustaining factories. They're better off over by the river. Okay. So we're we supposed to... Oh, hang on. We can upgrade you again. Oh, yeah. Become a level three lawyers. Why not? Go completely crazy with it. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Right. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Right. Let's head back over this way then. We're kind of being sort of you know, directed over here. Oh, no. We're being brought back over here where everything went a little bit wrong. Okay. Right. Let's just, let's just overlook that. Overlook the sad building over here. Sorry, friend. Right, what do you want, Mill? Oh, my chimney hurts. Workhouse found a permit. I can do whatever I want. I guess maybe it is time to reinvent myself. You've already reinvented yourself. You're a distillery now. A chat of a new market by the Docklands, though. You've been so much help here. Perhaps you could do the same over there. Okay, so new neighbourhood has been unlocked. Okay, how do we do that? Tell Workhouse I'm proud of them. Oh, your friends, your buddies with Workhouse. Um... Okay, how do we how do we go to the next bit? How do we move and oh no, that's move chimney? Hang on. What's our current goal? Have we got a goal? I don't think we've got a goal. Okay, how do we go to the to a new district, whatever it was? Where's where's that then? Oh, it's in here. There's a city map. So we are here on the high street in the city centre, but if we go over to here, there's a port. Okay, well let's travel over there and just have a look at what's going on. We might as well go and have a nosy at the port and just see what it's all about. And here we are, we're over at the port. I think this is where we started because we saw the little sort of dockside building, didn't we, get very sadly demolished. And yeah, I think that building was there. You were there. Oi oi, new bricks. <laughs> are we new bricks? Care to help an old market out? Yeah, all right, let's see what you're doing. I'm fairly new to the import-export business. Since old docks left the scene, it's been an open market and I is open. But you see, being quite unexpected. Seems demand's gone beyond your pineapples and yarty chokes. <laughs> okay, so turn the old market into a butcher's. Okay, so now we're in a new bit of town. We're unlocking new kind of industries and things. Okay, let's have a quick look around then. There's some tall, fancy houses. There's another bridge thing going on. There's some bits of land we can expand into. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Right, so yeah, it's just a different part of town. I imagine, you know, as we continue, we'll unlock various other new industries and that kind of stuff, like we just unlocked the butchers over there. Do you know what, though? I think we'll finish things up for now with Buildings Have Feelings too. We've had a very good look at the game, and I think we've got a good picture of how it works now. And also, I think we can see how it's going to progress as well as we play more. We're going to go to different parts of the town, and we're going to meet new buildings, and they're going to have different kind of job things, like we just saw a butcher's there. So there's going to be loads of different building types that our buildings can take on. But as we do that, I imagine it's going to become even more fiendishly difficult to get everything placed correctly, you know, to make sure that all the buildings have got all the things they need to keep their appeal levels up and to upgrade and do all the kind of challenges and stuff. I imagine that's going to be really, really difficult. The more kind of industries and stuff we've got available, it's just going to be a lot trickier to do. But uh, yeah, it's really good. It's a very, very good game. I mean, you know, it's a wonderful idea. I like the idea. I like the fact that the buildings wander about and they have legs and arms and stuff and they just sort of poodle about the place. I do quite like that. And it's just very adorable. I like the fact that the buildings have got their own personalities, like Workhouse. Workhouse did not want to be a workhouse anymore. Workhouse had lofty ambitions. Workhouse dragged themselves up to become a law office. 
They became a place for lawyers. No longer was Workhouse just a lowly workhouse. They had lawyers in there and it was all very impressive for them. So, you know, they wanted that and they went and got it. They dragged themselves up. So I do quite like that. I like the fact there's a little bit of character to this. But I mean, yes, at its heart, it is a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. We've got to manage all the different resources and level things up at the right time and get the bricks in and all that kind of stuff. So you can do what you need to do to meet the goals. But yeah, you know, it's got a bit of character to it. They could have done it without all the character of the buildings and the chatting and the funny kind of conversations and stuff. So yeah, you know, it's very good. It's very unusual. At its heart, it is a puzzle game. And it's just wonderful. It's just a very, very good game. I'm very glad that we took the time to check it out because yeah, it's a very, very wonderful thing indeed. But yeah, we'll finish up with it for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I really hope you have because it's been a lot of fun to play. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about Tutorial Robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 